Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn how to use the FreeCAD spreadsheet workbench and also how we can use it to macro to generate a honeycomb. Yeah, so first you will have to go here in the macro and you can just see this honeycomb but uh, we will go here in the tools and then we will see this add-on manager okay we all have this so what we will do we will go here in macros and you need to just look up for the honeycomb so this is the macro which i am using to generate so you can click on this link to learn more but we don't want to learn more we have already like i i have it installed so i'll just close it it works on any version i'm using the link daily one so uh, it will work on freecad 20 as well 0 0.20 0 0.20 i mean all right so let's start a new project and uh, let's save it um, name it uh, honey comb spread sheet okay i'll just save it in documents and yeah it's it's there so now what we need to do is go in this any workbench so let's just go to this spreadsheet workbench i'll show you how to use the spreadsheet so now we just need to click on this we can load csv files as well so i'll just create a blank spreadsheet and double click to open it all right so here you can put anything and you will have to put the data here so we will uh, create our uh, square spreadsheet so let's just put len tts length and we will put let's put uh, 12 mm so make sure you like put the mm here and uh, length breadth and uh, we will put this 12 mm as well okay so now what we need to do is we need to put the aliases here so that we can take reference from it so i'll just put length so it turned yellow and one thing you need to make sure is like so it was having some bugs so instead of dash c the dash won't be accept it won't be accepting dashes so make sure you just put under a score or something like that okay just keep in mind so let's make it length f and the shortcut for alias is i think command shift a yeah command shift a or control shift a and work a boom uh, command shift a and uh, let's pro put breath breath okay and we are done so we can also define the thickness so let's define the thickness of 1.6 mm okay and make alias of this again so thickness that's it and uh, uh, we can also put border here so border thickness uh, this side won't matter it is just for you so thick border thickness you can enlarge this you can put like uh, do some and all those stuff here as well so this is the thickness of the like whole honeycomb uh, or you can let's just call it height that will be better and uh, here we will define the border which we have the border uh, the square thing which goes so border thickness let's keep it 1.6 mm and just do command shift a so border thickness cool everything has been turned yellow so that's it and to get the like this is the length and length and blah 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 stuff okay so we are done in the spreadsheet let's go in the uh, in this workbench again and we will go in macro and click here on macros and here we have this honeycomb fc macro so i'll just execute it it will take some time depending on the system and as you can see it has made the this honeycomb okay so we can uh, if you will click on this honeycomb here so you will get lot of stuff let's close this thing we don't need okay so here we have all these things so we don't want it elliptical so if we make it false it will become rectangle okay and uh, here is this border offset this is the like border so if i increase it 
so you, you will see it it increases as well okay so you just need to add a function here we will press equals to and uh, then we will type a spreadsheet and here we can put dot and uh, what we had was a border thickness we are getting it here unit discarded okay no problem so we did not need to put units here not a big deal so this is like this is 1.6 so if we go back to the spreadsheet and change the border thickness to like let's say 2.6 and if we go back here so it has been increased so this is 2.6 okay let's revert it now it's cool so this is taking from the spreadsheet and height we can also make it take from the spreadsheet and this is the radius like how many honeycombs you want so i'll make it 10 we you can also put it in that because this is going to be bigger and if you will not decrease this like increase this at first and you enlarge it it will take forever so for height what we will have to do is see so we will do we have to like to get the accurate height uh, let me just show you how this will happen so spreadsheet dot uh, height okay okay yeah height height is fine so this is the height so this thing is height and uh, let's put length and uh, spreadsheet dot l-e-n-g-t okay now we have 12 mm and uh, let's make not 12 mm it was supposed to be 120 we can remove this mm so let's just get rid of this mm let's make it 120 and make this 120 as well we don't need mm here but if you are working in normal design you will need as you can see this got increased so if we make the length here uh, here we have this we can just make it a spreadsheet dot breadth you can also take from like now you will see it has become very large so this is how you get your stuff done and we can customize more stuff here so if i go here and click on this like increase this separation so what it will do it will like increase like how much honeycomb like closer it is i think yeah so it is getting thicker and thicker so as you can see and this should do the job for you so if you change any parameters like in the spreadsheet so if you want the length to be 150 hit enter and go back here and it has become 150 but what you will notice one issue let's go in part design uh, where is part design here we have this part design and if i try to measure this and this so get this this thing is what is it called measure linear so if i select this and this edge so it shows 153 wow it's it's too much we can't take that all right so just for the sake i'll make it 120 okay let's uh, clear our dimension and close it and the uh, you saw like it is not same as 120 because we are adding the border offset right so go here and uh, instead of the height uh, height should be same so length so what we will do is we will add we can take from here as well ref uh, constraints no constraints okay let's just take from a spreadsheet only so it will be a spreadsheet dot uh, dot you have all this here so border thickness right so if we add the border we will subtract the border thickness so it will be 118 and if we try to measure it let's uh, put this 
like we put it in the length so length is this side and this side let's measure it again so this and this is it it's 121 it is supposed to be okay let's put the same formula all right guys so we missed one thing that we have to multiply this with two why because this height is getting extended in both the directions so mm, we will do border thickness into two and it's now 116 let's measure this again go to this tool whatever it is called and let's do this section one two and here we have perfect 120 so let's clear all dimension close it and we will do here this like in the width as well hit equals two and multiply it with two and waka boom waka boom we have both the like stuff in like if we change anything this will be still same so like if i go and make the border thickness to like uh two let's see hit enter and you see this this let's make it four yeah now you can see it's very thick and if we measure everything again just for the sake of measuring select this edge and this edge uh what happened okay yeah we get 120 and if we select this edge how do we select this edge and hold down the shift and this edge so we get 120 and 120 whatever you change here it will be affected here as well so i think we are done for this tutorial so you can make your own honeycomb or anything like that so you can just use this spreadsheet easily and uh, to do this like you could have done all this calculation here so uh, final width and then you could have just pressed equals to and then did like length uh, plus uh, 2.5 something like that so this becomes like this and you can do all those basic formulas here just like uh, microsoft uh, excel or anything like a spreadsheet you would do okay so this is it if you enjoyed my work consider supporting me on patreon and if you are new please subscribe we keep making such great tutorials videos designs 3d prints and a lot of stuff so press that bell icon and hit that subscribe and if you enjoyed it make sure to like because dislike doesn't work at all yeah it does it doesn't all right guys have a great day let me know if you are making anything good great awesome cool bye bye take care